So if you guys are like me, you get tired of messing with the doors on the FX3 whenever you're trying to plug in anything like a microphone jack, an HDMI cable, or a USB-C cable. So today I'm gonna show you how you can safely remove these doors from your FX3. So the first thing that I recommend that you do is remove the lens and put the lens cap on and also remove the battery so you don't have any power issues or really mess up any of the electronics that you have in your camera. Next, we're gonna flip the camera to the side and you wanna make sure that you have the correct screwdriver. And if you don't have a screwdriver or if you don't wanna mess up your camera, I will leave some link below in the description that have really worked well for me. So next, we're gonna start by opening up this flap and right here you have one screw and right beside it you have another screw. We're gonna remove both of those screws. And something that I like to do is lay out the screws right over here in the order that I took them out. You do wanna be careful so you don't drop screws like I just did. So now we're gonna close this door and we're gonna open up this other one and right up here at the top we have a screw. So we're gonna begin to remove that screw and again we're gonna sit this and then we're gonna sit this right over here and then we're gonna close that door and right here in the next door we have two screws one in the bottom down here and then one right here beside the USB-C port and then last you have just this screw over here so now after removing that last screw you can take the HDMI door and you can lift up this entire module and pull it out you want to go this direction because there are some hinges right here that stick in to lock in this whole casing door right here. So now you want to make sure that you sit this where there's not going to be a lot of dust or debris while you remove these doors. And you want to do this second part very, very quickly because you don't want anything getting inside your camera and messing it up. So now if we flip this over, we have a few different screws to remove. So now we're going to remove this first screw over here to remove the HDMI door. So all you do is again, you remove it, you set it aside, and then you can simply on the other side, open up the door and it comes right off just like that. And if you just wanted to remove the HDMI door, now you're done, you can put this right back on your camera and do all the steps backwards. But for me today, I wanna remove these other doors because I do use them quite often to record audio and to record USB-C or charge the camera. And so I don't like them getting in the way. So to remove those, you have three other screws right here, right here, and right here. Now, just like before, you can lift up these doors and you can actually remove both of them this time. And be careful because at the top you have this little hinge piece and it locks on. So you want to lift up and then pull out. And just in case you guys didn't see, I actually removed this metal piece from the back as well. And you can set that aside. Now next you want to take all these little pieces and put them away somewhere very safe because I imagine that it'd be very difficult to get a hold of these if you lose them. Now next moving right back to our camera we want to take the module and we want to line up the HDMI port and then again we want to go this way so that we get the latches in and then we want to set it down. So now we're going to work backwards putting in this first screw and going all the way back around. Now, if for some reason you mixed up these screws or you didn't lay them out in the correct order, for this very last screw over here, it is much longer. So you do wanna take note of that because this screw is longer than the other ones and it only fits in this hole. And there you go. That is how you remove the doors on your FX3. Now, if you guys are interested in the gear that I use with the FX3, check out this video right up here.